telomeres? Telomeres are pieces of DNA material. They're pieces of genetic material that exist at the end of your chromosomes. They protect them to make sure that you don't get illnesses like cancer. And the longer they are, the longer you live. Why are telomeres so important to us? Telomeres were a discovery of three American scientists that in the year 2009 received the Nobel Prize of Medicine for this discovery. That tells you how important it must be. Telomeres are very important for us because without them, we couldn't live. These pieces of DNA have a certain length. And when the cell replicates and the human cell is replicating all the time, the telomere shortens. If the telomere were too short, then you can get cancer, and when it's too short, actually, you can die. Human beings are one of the few species that die because telomere shortens. Uh, how do we know how long they are? In order to know how long your telomeres are, you need to measure them. And we were the first ones to offer telomere measurement in South Florida in the year 2009 through a company called SpectraCell. And uh, you come to the office and do, we do a blood drawing and we'll tell you how long your telomeres are. Telomeres are measured in different cells. We measure in lymphocytes, are the easiest and the most common. And it can be measured in any other tissue, but then you would need to do a biopsy. For instance, if you want to know what your telomeres, what the length of your telomeres are in your liver, for instance. Does anything counteract telomere shortening? If we can discover how to elongate our telomeres, we will live to be 200 years old. You can counteract the shortening of your telomeres definitely by exercising. Exercise is the most important way to stop telomere shortening. If you exercise consistently for three months, especially if you do the aerobic and aerobic exercise, they also call it high intensity interval training, you actually elongate your telomeres or stop them from shortening. There are other ways to stop telomere shortening. There are three types of cells in the human body whose telomeres don't shorten. Stem cell, gonadal cells, which are sperm and eggs, and cancer cells. So the scientists wondering why do these telomeres stay long and don't shorten? Well, they discovered that these cells have something called telomerase. Okay. And telomerase is a protein that elongates telomere. Now there's three American companies that are trying to synthesize telomerase and if we ever do that, then we'll found the secret to longevity. Not immortality, but longevity. What role do telomeres play in cancer? Telomeres play a big role in cancer. You like the story? Well, I hope you like the story. Great. <laughs> your DNA mutates all the time, every second. And then your body repairs that mutation because you have energy to repair. The human body uses energy for reproduction, to have kids, and to repair damage. So that's why it's so important to sleep well and to be rested, because if you're not rested and your DNA mutates and you have no energy to repair it, then you have a DNA mutation and that leads to problems. Yeah. Telomeres protect those mutations in the DNA. But if for whatever reason, because telomere is shortened, and DNA mutates, the human cell has a surveillance mechanism and it detects the DNA mutated. Then the cell says, oops, I have a mutation in my DNA. And the human body has the autonomy to decide, well, I don't like this mutation, I'm going to stop replicating and the cell commits what's called senescence. Or even better, the cell decides to commit suicide. It's called apoptosis. Or the cell says, you know what? Mm -mm, I'm going to become immortal. And then activates a gene that encodes something called telomerase. Telomerase is a protein that elongates telomere. So now you have cancer. You have a cell whose DNA mutated, who has decided to encode telomerase that prolongs telomere. Now far from shortening, it elongates each time. Now you have a cell that's immortal. Until the blood supply stops, you have cancer. So the important point in the story is that if the human cell has the autonomy to decide 
to commit suicide or to become immortal in the presence of a mutation, what role does the human mind play? You're right. Where does the autonomy come from? Where does this autonomy come from? What influences the cell's decision? To help your health or not to help your health? And that's where the mind-body connection comes into play.